So today we are going to be work starting our Notre Dame at night um, picture. So we're going to be doing the drawing with pencil. I have these little tracers here um, to get the main structure and um, possibly moving on to the Sharpie today. And then next week um, I'll introduce the watercolor. So it's going to have kind of this look here where there's watercolor over it. So it's like sparkling lights at night. So we're just going to focus on the structure today. Um, and like I said, I hope you guys get to the actual um, uh, marker today, but if not, we'll hold on to next week. So our I can statement today is today we'll learn about Gothic architecture so that I can draw the Notre Dame Cathedral using symmetry. So um, you can kind of see this one. I like to show you this. So this is how we're going to kind of build it. So this is the large rectangle here would be the bottom and you'll do that twice. And then the smaller one you're going to have for the towers on either side of Notre Dame, okay? So first thing you're gonna do, like always, is you're going to write your name, oopsie, this is K, and your class code. Then you're gonna turn it around, okay? You want your paper to be tall, vertical, because um, it's a pretty large um, cathedral, so you want it to be nice and big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this first one here, and this is gonna go at the very bottom. You're gonna be eventually um, cutting these out so um, you don't have to have it higher than this. So it saves you a little time. So I am gonna make sure it's kind of even in here on this paper and I'm gonna trace it. So once and then a second time right on top. Okay. And Notre Dame, um, this is what right here you can kind of see this picture it's a very very famous cathedral um, in Paris France and Notre Dame it means in French Our Lady so it's a great example of the popular architecture of 13th century and it's called Gothic okay so it's Gothic architecture and we'll be talking about the rose window and all that good stuff so make sure we get all this traced we've got that one then you're going to have the two towers here on this either side. And I'm going to line it up right at the edge. I mean, if it's slightly in, it's fine. But I'm going to try to keep it on the very, very far edge. So it's a perfect example of symmetry. What you do on one side, you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So I've got my basic structure drawn here. Okay, so we're all going to start off this way, so that name and class code is super duper important, okay? Um, and I'll have some images on your table like this, which will give you the actual structure, and this is that rose window in the center. So first thing I'll do is if I, want, I can use ruler. I, I like to start kind of at this bottom section. I'm not going to do the whole thing for you because I don't want to take up too much time, but if you look at it, so this bottom section, so this would be like rectangle one, and this is rectangle two. So the first thing I'm gonna start and look at is there's sections, three sections right here divided up. So I'm gonna just divide up this section here and here. And if you wanna use a ruler, I probably will use a ruler before I do the Sharpie. And then there's a section above it. So I draw a little line going across here. And I can erase these and hopefully you still have white erasers so you don't have to use the crummy pink one. And then I've divided that up so they all have, you see these columns here? So I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker there. Do the same thing on the other side. And then these two need to be widened. So I kind of did the line in the center. So I'm gonna do a, draw like a little line on either side for the column and then erase. And I'm just working one little section at a time. It's really easy to get caught up with the details here and because there's a lot. Um, but if you just, just focus on like this bottom section or maybe you want to focus on the top section, that's fine. And then before I get the details of the columns, I'm going to draw this arch here. So I'm going to start with a little dot kind of in the middle. I'm going to go down here. This is pretty popular um, design in cathedrals especially Gothic cathedrals, you'll see this a lot. And Notre Dame is a very, very old church um, or 
Cathedral from the 13th century. So I've got these two sections here, then above the door frame, there's another one here. And then they have two doors. And I've never been to the actual Notre Dame, so if you've ever been to Paris, France, I'm sure you've seen it because it's a pretty popular tourist attraction. And I do the same thing on either side. And if you look at this section here, there's like a little line in there and these kind of, kind of like a little U shapes along here. So you just draw those in. And then this next section here, is where the rose window is. So if you kind of look at this section, divide it up, you can see there's like a line across here, not quite halfway, a little bit above the halfway mark here. And those columns continue to go. So once you kind of have those measured out, you just kind of take those up and extend them. Okay. And then the rose window, which is that middle one right there, you could see how there's like a little arch right there. And then you could draw a little circle. If you need to use a compass or protractor, you certainly may. And then there's a little circle in the center here. And then, let's see, I think I'm just gonna start drawing almost like spokes of a wheel to divide up the space nicely. And then I can kind of add the little details. Okay, and so then I'm gonna have a little curve here. So it, it this does take some time, okay? I don't want you to feel like you need to rush through this project. You don't need to be worrying about the person next to you, oh, they're, they're working super fast, or maybe you're a little bit slower. That's fine. Just work at your own pace and just kind of work a little section at a time. This is probably gonna be one of those projects that you're not gonna talk with your neighbor as much just because there's a lot of details on this and you wanna kind of concentrate. Like I'm not doing my best work because I'm talking on the camera right now. If I was quiet, I'd probably have it a little more um, correct. <laughs> and then I'll just finish drawing all the details here then move up to the next section. The next tower is here. These, the top here is divided up with some lines. Okay, there's even a little rectangle on top. And this one has a nitty bitty little rectangle and a triangle. So just think of really simple shapes, curves, um, really are at the window and maybe the tops have like little arches. And then once you like what you have, you can get the Sharpie. Um, I'll have the ultra thin Sharpie. I would probably use a regular Sharpie for the main structure of the buildings. And then I would use the ultra thin for like the rose window, the doors, the tiny little details. So you don't need to hold on to both. Just kind of get a few for your table so that you guys can all share um, because you're not all gonna be working at the same place at the same time, okay? So today, um, I'm hoping you get the majority of your building drawn. I have the tracing pieces because I want you guys to focus on your details. Um, and these tracing sheets give you a nice um, building structure to start with, so you don't have to worry about that part of it. And then if all you get to is pencil today, I'm fine. If you get to Sharpie, awesome. Um, just take your time. So and don't forget to write your name and class code on the back, even though we're all drawing Notre Dame and we all have different skill levels, they're gonna look somewhat similar. So you wanna make sure, if, especially if you're absent, to have that name and code on there so nobody else um, takes your project.